In uh, January 1970, I was asked to write the screenplay and uh, direct a film that eventually was called Get Carter. In July, I was shooting it, and in August, I'd finished shooting and already started editing. So in six months, my contract was agreed and signed. Uh, the script was written and approved. The cast and crew uh, were chosen and the locations found, all in six months. We worked uh, in a white heat, uh, driven by instinct, and with no concept of what impact the film would ever make. Naively, I thought it would always be like this, that I'd move smoothly from one film to the next. Wrong. Over the next 50 years, I got to make nine films, and I'm glad I got to make those, but that's an average of one film every six years, not every seven months, as I anticipated. No wonder I referred to my CV as Emmental cheese, because it was like so many holes in it. However, I did fill these holes with television work and Fringe Theatre, which I wrote and directed, and Radio Plays, which I also wrote and directed. And in addition to that, I wrote screenplays that were never realised and treatments that also were never realised. And recently I decided that some of these treatments and some of these scripts would make interesting novels. And that's what I've been spending my time doing recently. Three of these screenplays are now in the form of novellas. The first, the aforementioned Bait, is about a slippery PR man blissfully unaware he's being dangled as bait by an investigative journalist until he's finally swallowed by a, the leader of a sadistic self-improvement course. Then there's Grist, in which a best-selling author uh, uses real people as fodder for his own crime novels, only to find himself used as Grist uh, in his own murder. And lastly, security. In this story, a mega movie star, unhappy with the film he's making, refuses to leave his hotel suite to go to the studio, while outside in the corridor, murder and mayhem take over. So here's the deal. Unbound is proposing to publish all three of these novellas, or novels, uh, in one volume. So if you like racy crime stories, laced with black humour, much like Get Carter, then this is the... This is for you, he said, hopefully.